Owen TV's Game of the Week, bringing you Varsity Soccer, Flushing versus Lake Orion. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, with this last regular season matchup of 2024. Flushing comes in at 9-5-3 overall, and the Dragons are sitting at 12-5-1 overall on the 24 season on a nine-game win streak. Are you kidding me? What a team. They are on a roll, and this last regular season matchup is just a tune-up for the districts. No one is hotter than the Dragons right now in all of the OAA or in the districts in which they'll be playing in next week. More after this timeout. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. Get underway here in this last regular season matchup of 2024 at Dragon Stadium. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. In goal for Lake Orion tonight is the always solid uh, Kylie Kapitsky. Uh, the junior netminder has done a stellar job this season. The Dragons, wow, the last couple games, they are, we said it was a nine game win streak, but they also coming in with three, two, two consecutive shutouts. A 6-0 affair against Pontiac Notre Dame Prep, and then a 3-0 uh, win against Utica. And before that, they were in a couple tournaments, or a Petoskey invitation, I should say, and took care of business, only allowing four total goals in the entire invitational. So this Dragon defense is solid, as we've been announcing here all season long on ON TV. And we know that they are tuned up for districts. They are seated in District 5. And I believe District 5 will be up at Davidson as the host. Their first opponent in the districts will be Lapeer. And um, yeah, see how that goes. But this team, these Lady Dragons are on a roll. And we have to call attention to some stellar play by Liz Crawford, number 10, the sophomore, has been a scoring machine for the Dragons. And um, it's she's... It's one of those intangibles on the field. When she's there, you know she's there. And you know that the, off, or the defense of the opposing team is going to be keying on number 10 today. We are now underway here. So far, we got nice sunny skies. Uh, it is comfortable out here. A huge crowd. Uh, the Flushing crowd has really come out in force to support their Raiders in this game. Dragons moving up this near side, trying to get it in. That's Lillian Brodowski. And here we go, a chip on, ooh, across the goal mouth. And an early quality scoring chance for Lake Orion right out of the gate. Um, at 39-23 as the clock continues to roll. Um, always windy here at Dragon Stadium. Um, you always hear a lot of the, uh, the talk of the visiting family saying, oh, we're playing at Lake Orion. It's so windy up there. It is. But, ooh, a giveaway here. Flushing on the move. Unfortunately, we do not have the rosters. And a nice near side pass and the kick on and easily handled by Kapitsky. Flushing would like to have that one back. A little more solid connection on that shot. But a good, good sign for Flushing in the start of this contest. Uh, the Raiders coming into this game have been kind of limping along. They're three and three in the last six games including two uh, straight shutouts. Losses versus Flint Powers and Grand Blank, both one, no, uh, one nil uh, affairs. And the scoring output for the Raiders on the season, looking at the MHSA website, is mm, they don't score a ton of goals. And the Dragons over the last how many weeks have scored, in the last two games alone, scored nine goals. So Dragons' offense is clicking and their defense is solid. Flushing has their work cut out for them today. But so far in the early going, they've shown uh, signs of good execution early on and made Kapitsky uh, make the first save of the game. 
Nice lob over the top. Crawford in hot pursuit. Can't get that one in. Throw in coming for Lake Orion. Nice weather. We were looking at the radar. We see some dark clouds kind of rolling in or potential for weather. The last couple days have been wet, then dry, then wet. Um, just kind of been an up and down weather season for the spring uh, sports calendar here at Lake Orion High School. Another good push on by the Raiders to test that Dragon defense, trying to go off that left side. Number 12, uh, Fedoranchik, sophomore, looking on there as uh, on the defensive side of things. Unfortunately, we do not have Flushing's roster. Common occurrence here when we try to call these soccer matches, trying to hunt down rosters for these uh, for the uh, these teams that uh, visit Lake Orion High School, and they're hard to come by at times. Dragons on the move. Number 20, always very active out there. It's uh, Gabby Butkey, the junior. Again, the makeup of this Lake Orion squad is a young one, a lot of juniors, and a lot of sophomores. Experience, and they have experience too. Here's a little breakout near side. Oh, nice inside move by Flushing, can they? Trying to do a left foot, almost tried to, uh, look like she tried to change to her uh, left foot, couldn't get there, and did a toe tap on the right. And uh, again, Flushing putting pressure on this Dragon defense. Something we've seen uh, opposing teams do in the early stages. Early couple minutes, nice header over the top. This is active. Again, Dragon's trying to run that one down. Play. Kept in play. Chip on at distance and out of play. Dragons can move quickly. The line currently on the forward side is nine, number 19, Bardoski, uh, Crawford, Butke. And always present there, Dylan Verlinden, number six, putting pressure on. Always active. I'd like to see Verlinden get a goal. We had a couple telecasts where uh, she was called off sides for like six straight possessions. It was crazy, um, but very aggressive, very active. And she's due as the wind whistle blows on the foul. And it will be on Lake Orion. So free kick coming here for the Raiders. So far, the Raiders don't look like a team that's struggling right now. And the Dragons have to be on their game. Can't be looking ahead. Again, this is not a league matchup. The league has already been settled. Clarkston takes the W on the season in the OA White. Dragons ended up in the middle of the pack. But a couple bounces here or there completely flips the OA White around, and the Dragons would be sitting at the top of that uh, division. And they are much better than their uh, league record would indicate. They started out a little rough at this, at this uh, onset of the 2024 season. Took them one, two, three, four games to find their first win. As that ball is clicked over the top and gathered in by the netminder for the Raiders. Dragons are looking to chew up large uh, chunks of real estate on their play. Long, long feed in passes, trying to get stuff going, and that one's out of play. Good defense by Kira West, number 23 for Lake Warren. Dragons pressure that ball, centering pass gets in, but is cleared out by the green and white. I'm so happy that the Lady Dragons are wearing their green jerseys with white lettering today. <laughs> Over the last several games, they wore their very, very sharp black uh, jerseys, but it's very difficult to read the numbers on those due to the uh, lettering. West uh, trying to run that one down, and a nice crossing feed. But no one home on the back door, and nice individual effort by the Dragons to get that one out. They're dribbling up, looking for the up, and they're finding open. There's Butkey. 
Closing in with a trailer, that's for Linden. She has options and taps it in. Score, lower 90, no chance for the netminder for Flushing. Nice goal at 32-53. Dragons get on the board, see the outlet pass, nicely done. Gets two skips, splits the defender, and Buskey's on the run. Number nine kept everybody on side, and Verlinden in hot pursuit. It was a two-on-one, and who do you pick? And Buskey made the right choice. Dragons up one nothing here. Nicely done. Yeah, smile away, uh, Gabby. It's nice to get a goal here early on in the first half. And uh, a 2-1 break and makes the right decision. And this, instead of just firing it away, just a nice tap, lower right 90. And the goalkeeper for the Raiders just can't get down quick enough. Really kind of left hung out to dry, but you got to give it up for, I got to see who that is. It was at 16, Addison Verlinden, I believe, on that uh, outlet pass to break Bucky in the open. Out of play, throw and coming for Lake Orion. Nicely done by the Dragons to get on the board at 32-53 of the first. So far, three quality scoring chances for Lake Orion to two for Flushing. Flushing's had their moments, but the Dragon defense did a nice job of one-on-one -on -one play and just slowing down the ball handler. Um, so they couldn't get off a clean shot. Libby Acker, number eight, trying to settle that one down, and she does again. Here we go. Over the top, they're feeding the ball over the top of the back line of the defense. 19's in charge. That's Berdowski coming near side. Verlinden, number six, Dylan Verlinden, looking for support, and they do. And number 12 grabs it. That's Federanchik. Centering pass over to Verlin and give and go. And good defense to turn that one away. But here we go, Federanchik near side. And that is clicked out of play. Coming back to the near field and tapped out of play. Unforced error by West. Flushing will have it at midfield. Last regular season home game of uh, 2024 for... The Lady Dragons, the season has gone by so quickly and we're happy to bring at least five matches this season uh, to bring you this, uh, the 2024 uh, team. Head coach Amanda Hutchison must be very proud of her Lady Dragons and what they've accomplished this year. And just the style of play has been a lot of fun. Really good defense, young team, with experience, and they're only going to get better. Elaney Bull for flushing checks into the contest. Approaching 30 minutes left in this first half of play, about 10 minutes in. Ooh, and with some speed, who is that? Number 12, that is Nadia Federon, Chick the sophomore, play in the middle of the field. Bounce it around, Nadia Federanchek, nice pullback move, and she goes left foot. Looking for some juice on that shot. Libby Acker looking for support, finds it. Federanchek, quick feet for Federanchek, left foot's it in, and it's cleared out. Dylan Verlinden trying to get a handle on that, can't do it. Flushing did a nice job. That was some pressure there put on by the Dragon offense, and they did a nice job of turning that away. Ball control for Lake Orion has been solid so far. Addison Verlanden again feeds that one in over to 22. It's Tabish. Tabish is one to watch as well. Nice long feed in. Oh, skips away. And out of play, should be a throw in here for the green and white. 
Nope, it's off the uh, deflected off Lake Orion. So throw in here for for the Raiders. Got to give a hand to the Raider faithful. They are packing the stands today. And what do we have here? Foul called on Lake Orion. Free kick coming for Flushing. If you'd like to watch more Dragon Sports, head on over to OrionOnTV.org or Comcast Channel 10, where we have Game of the Week. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. Game of the Week. The most current games in our lineup air at those times and throughout our schedule. We'll be running these games all through the summer season until the fall sports season begins. And we already have the football schedule ready to go. Can you believe it? For 2024-25 school year. Talking football? I'll stop now. <laughs> Time continues to roll out of the foul. And Katie Broth, number 24, the senior checks in for Lake Orion after the ball is kicked out. She'll have the honors on the throw in. Butke with the ball. Posing figure out there on the field. She has height, speed, and difficult to defend. Nice job by Flushing to turn that away, but it should be a throw in. Oh, they're gonna say a throw in for Flushing deflected off Lake Orion. Sent down range by the Raiders. Nice wheels by number 19, trying to run that one down and across the end line. Nope, I guess it was deflected off the uh, out of bounds. So, so Broth will have the honors on the throw in. Reset the offense. Berlin. Throw in again for Lake Orion, near side. Nice throw in down the end. Oh, Butkey with it, looking for Verlanden. Nice pullback. Pause, looking for the open space. Find number eight, Acker. Lot of open area over there. Another Verlanden touches it. Here we go up that far side. Kept in, trying to turn on it. High, Archer feed into the box. Jeez, Bardowski was there. But it hit the turf and deflected out. Flushing on the throw in after that one. I like the idea though. Dragons are attacking from both sides. They're left, right, and down the middle. They're taking what uh, Flushing is giving them. They're not favoring one side or the other. And we've talked about Liz Crawford, number 10. She's not in the match just yet. Haven't called her name at all. What a luxury to have upperclassmen out there doing the job, getting up one nothing on Flushing and keeping one of your best goal scorers on the bench. Get her settled into the match, observing what's happening, and then bring her in, see what happens. You know it's going to happen. Scoring chances and potential goals. Dragons, nice ball control here over the last three minutes. Really controlling play now. If you had time of possession out of play, should be a throw in for Lake Orion. It'll be number 16, Hattie Verlinden, number, or the junior with the honors. She had the assist. I'll give her the assist on that feed to uh, Butkey on the Lake, lone Lake Orion goal here in the first half. Tabish, Butkey. Trying to save that in is number three, Paisley Frisch, and it goes out of play. Throw in coming for Flushing. So far, the Dragons offense is looking solid, really putting pressure on this Raiders defense. And so far, they really haven't had an answer. Dragons have settled in after, oh, takedown from behind, easy call. Free kick coming for Flushing. The, uh, the Raiders came out nicely in the first couple minutes of play and really uh, got the Dragon defense um, 
uh, what should we say, woke him up a little. <laughs> and uh, Kapitsky was there. They know, hey, when you have a solid net minder like Kapitsky back there, you know, sometimes you, you, your mindset changes on, on where you're going. Oh, nice, uh, nice passing by Lake Orion in space. Radowski feeds it into the box, and it's misplayed by the Dragon, excuse me, by the flushing goalkeeper and near giveaway. Dragons are just doing a nice job. Oh, missed pass there by flushing, and Dragons look to attack quickly. Dragons have size and some speed on the Raiders. It's And a little hip check there out of play. And what are they going to say, a corner? First earned corner of the day for Flushing. Thought it was off the uh, Raiders player there on the no corner kick. Yep, OK. I stand corrected. It was out on the Flushing player, goal kick coming. Again, sunny skies here, slight breeze, it's comfortable. But we've had uh, rain and weather in the area. And uh, we've had weather in the area all spring season. <laughs> it's been cold. I, I think the last uh, game I was covering had a, a winter hat on and some gloves. It was chilly. And that wasn't too long ago. Flushing making some substitutions, getting some players in fresh legs as they have the throw-in coming here. See what they can do with it. West is there to snag it. Over to Verlinden, Dylan Verlinden. Excuse me, Addy Verlinden. Nice feed through ball again, looking for Butkey. Taps it outside. Who is that, Tabish? Trying to run that one down across the end line. Goal kick coming for Flushing. Dragons are doing a nice job of just getting that offensive rush going, and they're not taking their time. They're making the Raiders run with them. And over time, the Dragons will wear you out. They have speed, and... Uh, quality strikers so it's uh it's something that uh the flushing um bench knows about and we've already seen them do several substitutions to keep fresh legs out there dragons trying to step up and they do give away there by fresh trying to go over the back line of that offense and dragons are there number 16 again addy verlinden Slow that rush down, but it's still alive. Trying to get a give and go and a shot on net, and oh, across the goal mouth. Best chance for Flushing in a while. Nicely done by the Raiders. Oh my word. That one, the angle was just too shallow. Couldn't get it in. Nearly leveled this match at one. Mm. Flushing's opportunity, scoring opportunities, they're going to need every one of them and take advantage. Oh, they're going to call a foul prior to the shot. Mm. So that's why they're lining it up over there. That's where the foul was or an offsides call. Or I didn't see the referee's flag go up or the linesman. So there we go. Dragons have it, no harm, no foul. There's Crawford, number 10 on the field for Lake Orion. Streaking in the mid middle, near side, calling for it. You can see her hand extended, saying, I'm right here. Flushing finding the open space, but the Dragons are there, and that is Broth to clear that one out. Oh, hard collision there, easily called, number eight. For Lake Goring, call on that one. That is Libby Acker, the junior, chatting with the 
head ref about it. 18.41 left in this first half. Dragons up 1-0 on the goal by uh, Bucky. Sporting the number 20 jersey at 32.53. Assist by number 16, Addie Verlinden. And another foul called on Flushing. Free kick coming for Lake Orient. Addie Verlinden with the honor. Sends it down range. There's Crawford with it. Crawford, very patient player, is number 10. Always moving. Brodowski going for the support, switching the field, looking for the open players. Ooh, nice left foot feed into the box and knocked down outside the 18. Paisley Frisch in hot pursuit, number three. Feed in by Flushing, goes nowhere. Dragons will have the throw in. And I have a feeling they may be substitute. Yep, number seven checks in. That's Evelyn Taylor, number seven for Lake Orion. Dragons are freely substituting fresh legs in and out of this game as well. Flushing crowd is quiet, but here in numbers. Dragon faithful laughing, having a good time celebrating this 2024 season and this amazing run the Dragons are on. If you're just joining us, the Dragons are on a nine game heater. And uh, sporting, geez, what was it? They've really been pouring in the goals over the last couple weeks. May has been a stellar month for the Lady Dragons. They have not registered a loss since April 27th at the Falcon Invite and a loss of 3-1 to one to uh, Salem. A lot of winning going on here for the Lady Dragons in 2024. Nicely done by number six, Dylan Verlinen, and she's on the move, feeds it up to Crawford. She has it, can she chip on? Oh, what a save. That is a quality save right there. We haven't seen uh, many stop Crawford when she's in the clear this season. Here we go, numbers for Lake Orion. Can they feed it through? Crawford can't quite get her toe on. Flushing solid defense there in the middle. Vern Linden. Over to Maya Patil, number 11's in the contest here. First time calling uh, Patil's number and name. Vern Linden feeds that ball in, splitting the defense. Crawford, that's way too easy. Crawford's still with it, decides it turn it back around and reset that offense. Screaming shot to the near side post and easily handled by Flushing. Yeah, the, the Lady Raiders need to close out on those ball handlers. You can't just let number 10 and just kind of cycle in there by herself without being challenged. This is not gonna end well. A battle over there, two on one, nicely done by Crawford to get away and retain possession. Give and go to Federanchik, number 12. Patil with it, sidesteps her defender, finds an opening, comes back near side to Taylor. Taylor splits the defense, she's on the move. Looking for an opening, she does find it, but hooks it just left. Nice strike by Taylor. Evelyn Taylor, nice, nicely done on that strike. We'll call that a scoring chance. Fifth quality scoring chance for Lake Orion on the game, and we have three still for Flushing. No uh, corner kicks for either squad as of yet. 
Oh, nice give to Fedoranchik. She still has it. In the clear, tries to go high. Arker over at crossbar. Too much mustard on that one, and it's out of play. There's a tailwind, but I don't think that had anything to do with that strike. Dragon starting to mount up the uh, their shots, and they're starting to square them up on frame. The defense for the Raiders is starting to bend a bit, and the pressure that the Dragons are putting on is is uh, is evident. I want to thank you all for tuning into this tele uh, telecast of Dragon Sports. I'm your announcer, Ian Lockford, or your neighborhood television. If you'd like to uh, work on Dragon Sports with ONTV, give us a call at 248-393-1060. We're always looking for people to give us a hand to bring Dragon Sports to our community. Nice nearside chip on. There it is, Crawford. Nice chip. That's it. Score! Nicely done by Crawford and company. Again, six. Dylan Verlinde in on that one on the assist. Here's the replay. Split that middle. Nice. Oh, what a pass inside. An inside position by Crawford. Number two didn't have a chance, and she didn't hesitate. She just chipped on right over the netminder. That's it. Two, nothing. Dragons up 12-51 is the goal. Verlinda takes a seat. Bucky comes back in. We saw that kind of uh, that goal kind of in the making. Uh, number ten on the near side there. She just finds us finds her space, and not only that, but she shielded the defender away from the ball. So she locked her up and had inside position, and that ball was perfectly placed by number six, Dylan Verlinden, for the assist. Dragons up 2-0 in the first half over the Raiders. As we mentioned in the, in the start of this uh, contest, the Raiders are coming in um, two straight shutout losses and uh, looking to try to get something going here. Uh, districts are just around the corner. They need to get their act together too, right? Uh, they come in with a 9-5-3 and three record. And in conference, they're, they're the top of the conference of the Flint Metro League. I'm just looking at my notes here. They're 9-1-1 one one in conference play, champions of the Flint Metro League. And uh, But it's a little different down here in the OAA. Um, Middle of the pack, OAA white team, uh, the Lady Dragons taking care of business here at home. We see OAA teams all the time. Oh, that's an easy call. Fallen Lake Orion's number 14, Maya Chap, sophomore, shakes her head, but hey, uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty obvious. But that's aggressive play. It's clean play. It's part of the game. Tavish number 22 looking on as a free kick is coming. Raiders getting ready to send it in. Nice delivery into the box. Headed out by Bucky. Verlinden coming near side. Federonchik looking for Bucky. Bucky running in the free. Federonchik still with it. 12 chips it on over to the far side for Tabish and cleared out wisely by the flushing uh, goalkeeper. Dragons again on the move. You can see the uh, their offensive push is kind of wearing down this flushing defense. Ten and a half left in this first half. Dragons up two, nothing. Crawford charging that ball. Nicely done by the Raiders. To gather that one in, you cannot let that ball hit the ground. That deep. Better on Chick. Lots of room to roam, plenty of space. Chip on trying to split the defense, and who's streaking in there? It's Crawford. Taylor. Good one on one battle over there. Who's going to earn this one? Dragons? Nope, Flushing has that one. Seven, 
Substitution by Flushing. Clock continues to roll here. Cloud's starting to roll in. Looking a little heavy, a little gray. Sun has uh, gone away here. That was a quick turn of events. Wind is picking up a little. Again, we had weather in the area, so we're just going to keep an eye on that as we go. Um, last couple days, we've had thunderstorms and rain, so the system is still in the area. Out of play. Should be a throw in for Lake Orion coming. Yeah, full season of Dragon Sports. If you'd like to watch, uh, if you can't tune into our website at orionontv.org for the live playback at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for Game of the Week. We have all of these games on our video on-demand server. Just uh, head on over to our website, orionontv.org, and click the on-demand button. We have all of your Dragon Sports you can handle from this school year and uh, prior school years. We also have close to 4,000 videos on our YouTube channel, which is hard to fathom. <laughs> But we have them broken out into game of the week and different sports uh, to search for. We have games going all the way back 10 years. So if you like uh, Dragon Sports and you missed one from years ago or want an instant classic, go ahead. They're there. We have them. ONTV documenting the, documenting the history of Lake Orion and Dragon Sports. Nice feet up that far side. Bucky in pursuit. She already has a goal. I'd love to have another one but turned away. Dragons get control, Patil. Trying to do something with it, she has it. Plenty of room to roam, Bucky with it turns. Head up, trying to split that defense and she does, but Evelyn Taylor, number seven, was had to stay onside. So that's good defense by the Raiders. Keep that uh, those offensive attackers onside. Kira West checks into the game, number 23. She's been solid on defense. I think they kicked the ball a little too soon. They weren't set just yet. So we'll reset that at 7-13. Want to remind our viewers, too, that uh, Lake Orion High School graduation is quickly approaching. We'll have the alternative high school learning options graduation and LOHS commencement ceremonies in their entirety. Live streamed and on uh, replay here on Comcast Channel 10, AT&T Ubers Channel 99. And on our OTT services, which is, uh, we're on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. Just uh, add the Owen TV channel to your lineup. Just search Orion on TV. And you have all of our programming, live streams, the whole kit and caboodle, as they say. Take down from behind. They're going to call that on flushing. Yes, Federanchik goes down in a heap. The sophomore has been very active out there in this first half. As time continues to roll and the clouds roll in, sun is uh, setting behind us. We want to give a, uh, a shout out to the other Dragon Sports uh, for this spring. They've done really, really well. Oh, nice feet over the top. Oh, boy. Heads up play, just tapped it. Did the netminder for, for the Raiders just to get control over it. That could have been goal number three here. But we want a, a shout out to the baseball team, softball, women's lacrosse and men's lacrosse, the varsity teams, and the women's track squad, uh, varsity track team for a regional win. Amazing. Uh, performance by them and and the other squads this year. So they're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the division as Crawford sends that one over to Bucky, trying to run that one down. Still alive is Verlinden, and he snagged that one out of the air. We'll call that a quality scoring chance. Four Dragon players touch that ball in that sequence. Coach Hutchison has to be happy with that sequence. Didn't result in a goal, but we can call a foul on number five. Go Chai. 
I don't know. They're both fighting for it, but this is a dangerous spot for a free kick for the Raiders. Dragons look to set their wall up, see what they do. Of course, they put uh, Bucky on the wall. Easily one of the one of the tallest players out there. What an asset to have. Going far side, cross, cross the goal mouth and header in, and easily played by Kapitsky. Haven't uh, called uh, Kylie Kapitsky uh, his name much since the first two minutes of this game. Flushing really kind of came out of the gate um, on fire. Um, since then, it's been all the Dragons' uh, offense really, really dominating the time of possession. Corner bump out of play. Is it a corner? It is. First, first corner kick of the night is earned by Flushing. And... We'll see what happens here. Dragon, see the crowd here for this contest. They're loaded. Great to see the fans out cheering on the Lady Dragons. And just high school sports in general. You got a standing room only along the fence for this one. All right, delivery. Here we go. Far post. Nope, middle of the. Oh, nice kick. Nice reaction on the volley there to get it in. It had pace, but just wide right. Fourth quality scoring chance for Flushing. Again, if you're just joining us, the Dragons scored at 32-53 on the beautiful tap-in goal by Butke. And then a no-doubter by Crawford at 12-51 of the first half. Dragons are 12th, five and one overall with a nine game win streak coming into this game. Flushing is the Flint Metro League champion in the, uh, coming down to uh, Lake Orion in this out of league play. Dragons were middle of the road, just uh, I think they were three, what were they? Three, two and one in league play. But you change one of those Losses and one tie to a victory, and they will be sitting ahead of the OA. That's how close the, the league was this year. Quality teams. Here's Crawford on the mood. Bucky in the middle. Oh, they're going for Linden, far side. Just out of reach. You could hear the crowd. That was on side. What a feed. Nicely done by Lake Orion. Dragons had nearly had another one. Good spacing, good heads up play. Dylan for Linden, she is due. That is across the end line. I believe we have a corner kick for Lake Orion. Yep, their first one of the game at 123 left in the first half. Wind is starting to pick up and it's changed directions coming out of the east. It was coming out of the south, kind of swirling over there. Crawford with the honors, set pieces for Lake Orion are a highlight of their offensive attack. Oh, tap in, but cleared out. Tap over, trying to take advantage of all the Dragons down, crammed down for that corner kick, but out of play throw in coming for Lake Orion. It looks like West will be hit with the honors and we're inside 60 seconds. What a first half of play for the Lake Orion. Flushing came out nice and aggressive in the first two minutes, but the Dragon D stood tall, but the offense is a story. Really dominating play as we have 30 seconds left. Goals by Crawford and Butkey. Give the Dragons a 2-0 advantage heading into halftime. Let's see what they can do here. Throw in for Lake Orion, number seven. We'll have the honors, Taylor, as we tick down at 10 seconds. Great half play, can't wait to see the second half right after this short timeout. Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports continues after this short break. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you're enjoying this contest. I am. We'll be right back after this timeout. Stay tuned.
As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. All right, second half about to get under the way. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Game of the week, Dragon Sports, Varsity Soccer, Lake Orion versus the Raiders of Flushing. Dragons up 2-0 on goals by Bucky at 32-53 of the first and Crawford at 12-51 of the first. Two no-doubters for sure. The Dragons were close to having probably two more goals. Let's see how the Raiders respond. Time of possession in that first half clearly favored Lake Orion. Uh, seven quality scoring chances for Lake Orion and one corner kick earned. Four quality scoring chances for Flushing with one corner kick earned. Unfortunately, our clock, we lost our clock for the second half, so do the best we can here to bring you the action. 40 minutes. Of soccer, I'll say 38-30 left in this regular season matchup. Last home game of 2024, and the fans came out in droves as Frisch is putting on a clinic of footwork out there, keeping the ball away from the Raiders. Dragons, um, I'm going to say Dragons are running uh, the Raiders out of their off the turf, but uh, you can see the energy level of the Dragons and speed are still up there. And um, we saw at the later stage of the second half that the Dragons just had more energy than the Raiders. So we'll see what happens here at the start of this second half. Verlinden trying to feed that one in to her sister. Chip on over to number 18, trying to center that pass with Regalia, gathered in easily. I think that was Tabish crashing the net there. But you can see the Dragons are finding spaces and the passing um, alleys are there. Dragons content to just chip one out. Smart play, veteran play by number 16, Addison Verlinden. Throw in for Flushing, see what they can do. Dragons clear it out to midfield. Raiders are here, unforced air out of play. Wind is picking up here at Dragon Stadium. Looking to the skies, clouds are rolling in and looking kind of heavy. This time of year, just, just the last couple uh, couple days this week, it's been uh, a wet weather and on and off thunderstorms. So there's a system in the area so we've got to keep an eye on. Nice feed off to that far side, flushing on the move. Nice feed through the middle, and that's on side. Nicely done. Can, can't turn on it. Oh, my word. Trying to look for that. It's That's one of those timing issues. Nicely done. Number six, but a little too much mustard. A little, got a little bit of control. You have to take advantage of those opportunities given to you. That's their fifth quality scoring chance of the night. But um, number 11's been their offensive uh, focus for Flushing, she's done a nice job of putting pressure on the D and getting in the open, but just couldn't get her feet situated to get a shot off. Looked like she was favoring her left foot and couldn't get it over there. Long feet in by Lake Orion and no one's home. Nice feet in the middle, Bucky. Near side for Linden. Nice check in. She goes left foot pass, middle of the net. Oh my word, in the middle of the box. Body's tumbling in the middle of the box. Can't do anything with it. Nice sequence for Lake Orion again. This flushing, uh, the Raider defense is really kind of scrambling here. 
Addy Verlinden on the throw-in. Looks like it was deflected out. Goal kick coming. I want to thank all of our viewers for tuning in to these uh, games and supporting ONTV over the years. Try to do our best to bring you uh, all the Dragon Sports coverage we can. We'd love to hear from you if you enjoy uh, these uh, telecasts. If you're looking for sports that aren't covered on ONTV, give us a call, 248-393-1060. We're located on Joslin Road at the Orient Center. And stop in and take a quick tour of the studio. It's open to the public. It's your community media center. Come on in and see what ONTV is all about. We're heading over to our website at orionontv.org. There we have locally pro produced shows, newscasts, news briefs, sporting events, special events, and government meetings. Been in operation here in Orion since 1986. Another uh, nice offensive push. Yep, going left foot, and Kapitsky was there. So we saw number 11 earlier on that attack. She had the ball on her right foot trying to switch to her left. That's her favorite dominant foot. Couldn't do so, and that was how uh, the Dragons turned her away. This time she gets it off, and uh, but gathered in easily by Kapitsky. Foul called on Butke. Free kick coming for the Raiders. Not used to the uh, stands being so quiet or the area around here so quiet. The uh, varsity lacrosse team is not in action tonight. Usually we hear them, the game screaming and hollering and whistles and all music playing next door around the football field, but not tonight. It's all soccer. This is the star of the show. Oh, near back door. Nicely done. Verlinden again. Where was that Acker? Who was that, eight? Nope, six. Yep, Dylan Verlinden again trying to get that goal. Just missed. Great backdoor feed. Puts that pressure on that Raider defense. Goal kick coming. Going to redo it. Dragons up 2 nothing, but it feels like it's more. Coming near side and a deflect out. Dragons have it. Going to turn on it. Verlinden feeds it in the middle. Looking for support with number eight. That's Acker coming near side. Let's it go. Nice move. Sisters working together. Addy and Dylan nicely done. Nice throw in. Verlinden trying to do something with it. Sent out by the Raider defense. You can see uh, the white jersey is just packed into the 18. Trying to throw over top of it. Bucky with it. Header in by Acker. And a little too zealous on the kick. That's Paisley Frisch, number three. A lot of energy out there. Just settle that ball, get a solid kick on, and just a bit wide. Dragon defense and offense is looking very, very good. I haven't seen them clicking this well all season long. Again, our last televised event, I think it was the Farmington blowout uh, back on April 30th, an 11-0 affair ended in uh, Mercy in the first half. Um, but then Dragons went on to a 7-0 win against the Romeo Summit Homeschoolers, a 2-1 win over Royal Oak, 3-1 win over Flint Powers. Petoskey, they took, uh, knocked down 3-1. Pontiac Notre, Notre Dame Prep, they won 6-0. And against Utica, a quality team from Utica beat them 3-0. So a nine-game win streak for Lake Orion. Kira West. Back on defense, trying to slow that rush down, and she does a nice job. There's Bucky. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> Called a foul on number 20. I I don't know about that one. 
Dragons get it back quickly. And another foul call. Interesting call. Bucky. She had the forward positioning on that. And well, what can you do? Part of the game. Eddie Verlinden, number 16, with the honors on the free kick after the uh, Raiders foul. Nice delivery into the 18. Header high. Archer, another header too high. Can't find the back of the net. Oh, my word. I believe that was Crawford. Dragons have a couple header goals this season that we actually have on camera. And it's impressive when it goes. But again, flushing back on their heels after that quality scoring chance. Oh, giveaway here. Not sure where that ship on goes to, but the Dragons still have it. Frisch passes it to the left side. Pull back over to, I believe that's Crawford over there. Dragons moving quickly, but give it up to Flushing. Nice turn. Dragons back on the attack. Trying to turn it coming near his side. It's Frisch. Over the top, back to the defense. Kapitsky handles that one cleanly. Nice delivery. Dragons turn on it. It's 22. That's Tabish. Tabish just dumps to the dump to the turf. Are they going to call a yellow card? Yes. Yellow card issued to the Raiders. So that player has to come off the field. Free kick coming for the Dragons. Set piece execution for Lake Orion is stellar. It's been very good all season long from corner kicks, free kicks, and so on. Um, see what they can do here. See if they can get this to 3 nothing here in the second half. About 10 minutes into this contest. Or into the second half, excuse me. Here we go. Nice high archer in the box right. Right in the hands of the flushing goalkeeper. Sure, she was trying to keep that one shorter, but uh, you got to make sure that the, hey, hit it at the goalkeeper, make them, make them make the save. Kira West on a nice move to uh, get that steal. Walking in, walking in, going right foot, coming near side on the pass. There's Verlinden, hesitation, and nice defense by number three to knock that one out. Had a size disadvantage there for Flushing, but nicely done. Keep an eye on the ball and knock that one out of play. Good defensive stand by the Raiders. And it looks like a corner kick for Lake Goring, their second of the game. Hand raise ready to go. High Archer, punch out. Trying to go across the, over the crossbar and it's punched down. Another goal or corner kick coming for Lake Orion. Good quality scoring chance for Lake Orion in their third corner kick coming. Erin Regalia, the senior, number 18 with the honors. She had the previous corner kick over there and delivered it nicely on that far post. The Raiders goalkeeper had to punch that one out. Here we go. High Archer coming near. Oh, far post still alive, ball is still alive. Trickles in, score! Paisley Frisch gets on the board. Teammates are happy to see uh, that goal push it to three nothing. Here's a replay on that kick. See, Bucky was there, deflected around and she just stuck with it. So it deflected off the flushing defender, hit her ch uh, Paisley's chest, drops down to the ground, and she just taps it in, finds a little opening, taps it in low. Dragons up 3 nothing and in control in their final home stand of the 2024 season. Distri MHSA districts are just around the corner. District play begins on the 23rd, just three days from now. 
And I believe they'll be playing Lapeer in the first round. And Dragons again looking for more. There's Bucky just to reset that offense. Ooh, nice run up that left side, but got turned around. And out of play, throw in for Flushing is coming. Size, speed, and skill. Some words used to describe uh, this Dragon team. Great positioning. Excellent conditioning. They just don't look tired. Substitution coming in for Lake Orion and Flushing, who's going out. And then Gochai for Lake Orion, number five, checks in. And number 12, Nadia Fedoranchik. Thought she was in already. Misread that number. We'll keep an eye on it, see who's there. Crawford comes near side with the pass. Ball is still alive. Fedoranchik with it. Caps over to seven. Taylor trying to do something with it. It's cleared out. Easily called there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, free kick coming. Referee's saying easy, easy. Why is that no different? I think the Flushing Faithful's looking for a yellow card. Here we go. Another foul, push from behind. West called on that one, and that's dangerous. They got to call it every time. No yellow card. And so Flushing's going to have a free kick. A dangerous spot here for Lake Orion. You got Fedoranchik West and Verlinden. I think Dylan Verlinden in as for the wall. Flushing trying to set it up. Hands raised. She's going to go on net. She does. Beats the wall, but. Kapitsky is there. Nice kick to bend it around the wall, but Dragons are there. Dragons push it to 3-0 after the goal by Frisch. And uh, again, you got to give it to number 18. Give it up, Aaron Regalia, the senior, on the, uh, the delivery on the corner kick. Oops. So when you throw the ball in, you have to keep both feet on the ground and <laughs> Flushing picked up their foot and gave it over to Lake Orion. Oh, nice pass, come in, give and go for Linden and Crawford. Taylor with the honors on the throw in here. Trying to get it to Verlinden out of play again, throw in for Lake Orion. Dragons really just putting the pressure on this uh, flushing defense. For Linden with it. Is it handball? Yeah, deflection up, uh, hit uh, Dylan in the hand, and they're going to call that one. So uh, free kick coming for the Raiders. Okay, any time now. <laughs> I think there's just one ball kid out there running around snagging the uh, loose ball. Oh, here's a break in here. Fred Aronchik trying to get it over to Verlinden. That's a deflected down. Looked like a handball, but no call. Indirect, I guess. Still alive. Give and go over. Patil with it. Going left side. Fedoranchik coming inside. There's a lane. She chips on. A little too much mustard. Takes her time and aims that upper 90. It was wide open. She could even have gone lower 90. Uh, the flushing netminder was to the right side of her goal, so she was out of pos would have been out of position, but can't get it on. Another quality scoring chance are starting to stack up for Lake Goring. They're at 12. Three corner kicks, 12 quality scoring chances, three goals. Flushing kind of reeling here, back on their heels. 
Dragon time of possession is really dominating this match. Clouds continue to roll in. Sun is set. Wind is picking up. Again, like we mentioned, we had weather in the area, so keeping an eye on that. Crawford trying to do a low screamer. Nicely done by number 10. She puts her chin up to the sky going, come on. It's like that's, you see the competitive spirit in number 10. And just all of her uh, teammates are just feeding off of that energy. And these guys are coming together as a unit at the right time. Good things happen. We've seen Dragon teams who've kind of stumbled in the regular season go on to regional championships or regional finals. It's uh, it's happened, and this team just, if you get the right draw and you, the right competition and the right mindset, the Dragons, I don't see why they don't have a chance to go deep in the MHSAA tournament. Throw in coming or a free kick coming here for Flushing after the foul. They need something soon if they're going to get back in this contest. Near side tap in the box. Dangerous spot to be in. Cleared about green and white, but nice closeout by Crawford. Dragons near side grab at number seven. Taylor sends it down range, and Verlinden on the move. Little too much speed on that feed. Out of play. Oh, my. That stays in play. Verlinden uh, walks in. Crawford, look at her, just running between them and a chip on steel. Uh-oh. Here she goes, Crawford, near side, oh, near side post. Thought she was going to go far side post. Score. Second goal tonight. Not surprised in the least. But that good individual effort there. Just beating four, three defenders. The misplay, the lackadaisical clearing, and she just walks in and left foot screamer, just too much. Nicely done by number 10, the sophomore. Tallying up the, the goals here in 2024. Dragons up in command, four, nothing. Flushing, trying to find something here. And if you're just joining us, the Dragons up 4 nothing. Two goals in the first half, two goals in the second half. Frisch and Crawford in the second half, uh, tallying their uh, extending the lead here. About the midway point. Midway point in the second half. Flushing has come in, uh, suffering two straight shutout losses uh, coming into this uh, this matchup with Lake Orion. They were out of their out of league uh, losses. They only had one. What do they say? Nine, one, and one. Yep. Nine, one, and one in the Flint Metro League. So only one loss in league and a one tie and dominant performance, but. And this is good for them. They should be playing teams like Lake Orion out of their league. Uh, play teams, quality teams uh, in the OAA to get ready for the playoffs, you know, for the uh, postseason. West passes over to Patil. Patil back to West. Feet in the middle. Ooh, near collision with Butkey. There's Taylor, shot on goal, nicely done. Taylor would love to have that one back. Good delivery, far post low. A little more pace, it might have gone in. Ooh, nice header over the top. Looks like it'd be offside, no call, still in the play. Flushing in the clear, trying to go left, for, far post, and the trailer. Good defense. And good uh, goaltending saves the shutout. 
Still fight in the Raiders squad here tonight. Crawford wins that one. Or excuse me, Fedoranchik. Bucky for Linden. Bucky with it, looks up, coming near side to Taylor. Taylor trying to right foot it in. Nice delivery, high archer, danger, and punched out nicely. Oh my word. Whoo, flushing Raiders got lucky on that one. And it looks like a corner for Lake Orion, but should be. I'm gonna say that uh, the Raiders goalkeeper didn't touch it. She just whiffed on the punch out and it went out of play. Wow. Oh, we have lightning in the area. And we hear booms. Uh, we're gonna take a weather timeout here to see what's going on. <laughs> 